A common concern in the part design process is how the molding machine settings will influence the quality and manufacturability of the part. Autodesk Moldflow has two tools to help you understand the interplay of process parameters, design of experiment and parametric study. This video discusses design of experiment. There are four different experiments we can use. By default, a statistically based set of experiments compares the effect of machine settings on the finished part. In this example, the part must be designed to ensure efficient assembly. The mounting posts must be in the right place. To do this, we need to closely monitor these dimensions. The edge warpage needs to be minimal, as well as the flatness of the center panel. With these requirements defined, select the variables and the range of values considered. Also, select the results you will use to assess the quality of the part. In total, there are 19 different parameters to compare. Mathematically, it would take over 500,000 individual analyses to compare each combination. However, we can obtain the same result with only 41 analyses. Even 41 analyses will take some time to complete. So more and more design of experiment analyses are being done on the cloud, where parallel processing accelerates the time to solution. The results of the analysis are shown in the DOE log. The pack time and packing pressure have the most influence over bottom edge flatness. While the coolant inlet temperature affects the differential cooling, a cause of warpage, as predicted in a warpage analysis. This can also be shown graphically. This plot shows us the impact of altering the pack time on the bottom flatness. With design of experiment, you can quickly study how varying different parameters affects the molding process. This information can help you to make informed design decisions, which leads to better parts.